So Morty is finally out in multiverses and the first thing I will tell you is he's probably one of the brand new most overpowered characters and that is because of one of the most craziest movesets that I feel like definitely needs a nerf ASAP. If you're new here be sure to subscribe we're on the road to hitting 33,000 subscribers we are halfway there and also be sure to drop a like on the video as that does really help out. The first thing that we're gonna do is take a look at Morty overall. He's a brand new character that just got added to the game and he is an expert character which means he will Will cost you 3000 gold. On top of that, he is also a bruiser and he is, of course, from Rick and Morty. He also has one more outfit inside of the game that is President Morty and will cost you, unfortunately, 500 Gleamium to unlock. On top of this, he also has a free emote and another emote called Head Bent Over that I don't have and you're unfortunately not able to pre duck. I'm definitely not gonna buy it, but he does have a spare emote. On top of this, he also has his own progression and stuff you can unlock, things like gold on level 5 and also his special perks, which you you can unlock on tier 8 which is I'm more than just a hammer which allows you to spin in a circle while using the hammer attack which I will get into later. Also a different one called oh that's still a grenade. The explosion radius of Morty's grenades is increased and lastly extra fleeb juice which is Morty's plumbus leaves the floor extra squeaky clean which just leaves like an effect I will also get into that later. Now the plumbus is something that in my opinion is the most broken thing that is currently out in multiverses which allows me to get onto his movesets and that's the main thing I'm going to cover. Cover. The basic attacks that Morty has is his simple just using his hands which spawns in a giant hand of his which is actually from the show. Also on top of this he also has an attack with the hammer as I've mentioned and you can also use your for example on controller left triggers to shoot out grenades that then using your right trigger can use to shoot out normal bullets to blow up those grenades or you can just wait them out until they blow up. And also another cool attack that he has is if you look up and press triangle for example on controller will spawn in the ship from Rick and Morty and fly it up into the sky which can allow you to maybe catch some characters off guard and attack them. On top of this you can also do two different attacks which one allows you to heal which leaves behind your body and then allows you to move around the place and after a while or after pressing a button will allow you to teleport back and heal or create an actual portal that will allow you to move across the map to maybe escape from getting ringed out off of the map or different scenarios that you need. But I want to dedicate the video to talk about something else and that is the plumbus attack. This thing is is crazy ridiculously overpowered. All you need to do is look down with anything, I'm guessing even your mouse and keyboard. I'm not a mouse and keyboard gamer, so I can't really tell you about that. But on controller, if you look down with your left analog stick and press square on PlayStation or X on Xbox, you will activate the plumbus attack. What this does is you basically clean the floor and you are almost invincible. You'd have to have a character attack you from the top or try to shoot you with something to get you out of it, but you essentially start cleaning the floor and there is no attack attack decay which is a huge thing. If you don't know what attack decay is, it essentially means that your attack will stop dealing damage or at least as much damage as it could at the beginning. This is where the thing basically becomes overpowered because it continuously can damage the enemy. On top of this, you obviously can escape the attack but from what I've noticed playing against in the lab, which of course is just a lab and you're playing against just a lifeless body of Shaggy or whoever you want, but also playing against a different player, I noticed that I was able to just take him down easily by using this attack and it just felt a bit unfair. Even scenarios where I was able to get him out to the edge and then simply just shoot him off or bonk him off was so easy. It's crazy how strong this attack is and almost feels like what Vin felt with his backpack but even that felt like it had its own limitations. This actually does feel a lot like the Taz attack that we had all the way back before the actual beta came out where you were able to use Taz's super tornado attack that basically did the exact same thing. Infinite uses, no decay and you were just able to bring out people super fast. I can tell you this right now, Morty will become a very ridiculously overpowered character for a while. I feel like they will definitely nerf it, but depends on when that comes out and we're probably just gonna have to survive with another really broken character. Another quick little thing to mention is he also does swear if for some odd reason you were wondering. Yeah, the character does actually say things like shit in it, which is the only thing I really noticed. But considering the fact that Rick and Morty is R-rated on TV, I feel like it's R-rated. It definitely isn't a, you know, a kids friendly show. If you turn off the bad language filter, whatever it's called, you will hear him say some bad things, which is definitely worse than what Harley and Batman have been saying, which I'm pretty sure were the only two characters that swore before. And that's, that's it overall with Morty. There's nothing else I can say apart from just use the plumbus attack if you want to be you know mean and literally not use any other attack he's definitely a cool character to have in the game and it does get me excited for the future of this game especially with rick i wonder what rick will have that's really broken if anything at all thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one